This video is a part of a series on how to develop an embedded coder target for an ARM Cortex-A based hardware platform. We are using the ARM Cortex-A SDK to build a target for Begabone Black. By now we have developed the target and added a number of features to it. In this tutorial, we will take a quick overview of the code optimization feature using code replacement. MathWorks code generation technology generates ANSI or ISO C code. For best execution performance though, the generated code must be hardware specific. The code replacement feature enables you, your target to replace parts of the generated code with hardware specific code. So by the end of this tutorial, you will see how the ANSI C code on the left that will be generated by default can be replaced by a specific library function, neon library function as shown on this slide here. To see this in action, we are going to open a, a model that we have created where we are adding two constant blocks of dimensions 4x4 four four, um, and the, we just display the result on a scope. So before we generate code, let's verify a few settings here. First of all, we want to make sure under hardware implementation, the hardware board is selected correctly and the device vendor and device type is selected correctly. Then under code generation, we want a code generation report. Um, also for the interface, we want to make sure the code replacement library is selected as none. Let's take a look at the default case for now. With that, let's build this model and take a look at the generated code specifically for the add block. So I'm going to open example 7.c. If we scroll down here, the default code generation, you can see that you know it's a for loop um, that does the addition in the generated code. So that's the default case. Now let's see how to enable optimizations. So if I go to the configuration parameters, I'm going to select code generation and then under interface in code replacement library, I will enable ARM Cortex A in this case because that's the optimization we want to inherit from the reference target. So hit OK and let's build this model one more time to look at the generated code. What I expect to see in the generated code is the use of the neon library functions for adding the two matrices. And that's indeed uh, what I see here, MW neon add, that's the name of the function that's being used. And this is how by replacing the code, you know, we are getting an optimized performance specific to the hardware being used.